Hey guys, my name is Yash. I am a product manager at Trendalet. We recently launched Face Lock using which you can create different characters with consistent face. But getting the pose of this character just by using the text prompt might be a time taking process. In this video, I am going to show you a simple trick using which you can easily control the pose of your character. For this, we will be using face lock and control net. First thing you need to do is find a face for your character. Now this face could be a real photo or an AI generated image. In this example, I will be using this real photo. I have uploaded it into the face lock section. Now let's say I am trying to generate an image wherein this person is working on laptop. Now all you need to do is go to the control net section, use an non HDXL model, select the option of open pose, then go on Google and just type the pose you are trying to generate on render net. For example, my requirement was a person working on laptop. I just Google it and found tons of stock images. I downloaded one of the free stock images and just uploaded it into the control net section. I have selected two of the non HDXL models which are Epic Realism and Next Photo for this example. I wrote a similar prompt wherein a man working on laptop and I'll hit generate. These have been generated in the exact similar pose of the reference photo we had uploaded. I'll just open a few and show it to you. That was quite easy, right? In this next example, I will try to generate a character which is playing guitar. We'll do the same thing. Go to Google, type the prompt of man playing a guitar, find a free stock image which is similar to the image you are trying to generate in terms of the pose. Just upload it in the control net section, select open pose option under the non HDSL control tree processor, change the prompt a bit to let's say man playing guitar and hit generate. As you can see the images have been generated and all of them are similar to the reference image we have uploaded. Now let's try to generate a character chopping vegetables in a kitchen. Similar to the previous two generations, I just googled it and found a free stock photo of a person chopping vegetables in a kitchen, uploaded it into the control net section, we change a prompt a bit to man chopping vegetables in kitchen and hit generate. All the images have been generated and as you can see, it's pretty similar to the reference image that we had uploaded. So as you have seen, creating characters with consistent faces and the desired pose was never so easy. But now with RenderNet, you can do that within seconds. If you already haven't tried internet, what are you guys waiting for? Give it a try today and let us know your feedback on how we can improve or any new features you want to see in RenderNet. On sign up, we provide 50 free credits and join our discord to get 100 more free credits. Cheers.